Hello friends, welcome to this next video on classical mechanics. In the last video, we have studied the law of conservation of linear momentum. Law of conservation of linear momentum. Okay, and in this video, we will study law of conservation of angular momentum and law of conservation of energy. Okay, so these are the two laws which we will study in this video right so first of all let us see what is an angular momentum so we are, we are starting with what is angular momentum okay so what is linear momentum linear momentum is the amount of motion contained in an object okay or a, in a single particle now suppose we have a particle here this is a particle p okay and suppose we have a point O, some point O, and this is the position vector of the particle. Okay, I'm sorry, it should be. Suppose this is the position vector of the particle, R vector, and this is the point O, right? And suppose the linear momentum of the particle is mv in this direction, right? Then, uh, if the particle uh, has a motion, then it has a tendency to rotate around this fixed point O, right? And the tendency of this particle P, okay, how much is the tendency of this particle P to rotate around this particle O, right? That is defined as R cross MV, right? This quantity is known as angular momentum of this particle P. So basically what is angular momentum? Angular momentum of a particle is R cross P where P is the linear momentum of the particle, okay? and physically it denotes this this quantity this tells you how much is the tendency of this particle p is there because of its motion to rotate around this uh, point o okay so this is a vector quantity you can see this is a cross product of r and p r is the position vector of the particle and p is the linear momentum of that particle and if you take the cross product of these two quantities you will get the angular momentum of that particle now let us see how can we derive the law of conservation of angular momentum and what is that law of conservation of angular momentum now this is the angular momentum of the particle we can similarly define something called movement of the force movement of the force or torque okay suppose we have uh, similarly we have a point here where a force f is acting and this is a position vector of the uh, point i'm sorry i should draw like this this is the position vector of the point where the force is acting right then r cross f r cross f where r is the position vector from o to f this is known as moment of f moment of f about the point o okay or this is called torque of f about the point o right if you will change your point o then obviously for the same particle uh, for the same linear momentum you will get different angular momentum and you will get the different moment of the force okay so it is the uh, uh, the torque and this angular momentum they depend on the uh, point about which you are considering the torque or about which you are considering the angular momentum now let us see uh, okay one more thing we will denote this quantity by n okay you can fix any notation i am fixing n l capital l is for the angular momentum and capital n for the torque of the force right now let us see what is the law of conservation of angular momentum okay so we'll start with law of conservation of linear momentum law of conservation of linear momentum what is that law this law says that rate of change of angular uh, linear momentum that is mv of a particle is equal to the external force applied on the particle right rate of this is your rate of change of the linear momentum and this is the external force acting on the particle right now suppose we have a point o and we have a particle here that is which with the linear momentum mv and this is a position vector of the particle from o okay suppose this is your p then what i can do i can take the cross product with r on the both sides of the above equation so i'll get something like this right okay 
so now what is this by definition this is the torque of the force about the point o so this is my n now let us see what is the left hand side so left hand side for left hand side you just look at this quantity d by by dt of r cross mv right so how you differentiate the cross product this is dr by dt cross mv right you differentiate the first component and you keep the second component as such plus r cross d by by dt of mv right now what is this this quantity is dr by dt is nothing but velocity v cross mv plus r cross d y by d t of m v right now what is this quantity you can easily see that this quantity is zero why this quantity is zero because this is the cross product of the same vectors v vector you are taking the cross product with v vector the angle between v vector and b vector is zero and we know that if you want to compute a cross b then the magnitude of a cross b is obtained by magnitude of a into magnitude of b into sine of the angle between them now if the uh, vectors are same for example here m is constant of course and it is a scalar quantity you can take it out so this quantity is nothing but this quantity magnitude i am talking about so this is m into magnitude of b into magnitude of v into sine of 0 and that is sine of 0 is 0 therefore this quantity is 0 this particular quantity is 0 so this is equal to r cross dy by dt of mv right so it means that this left hand side is nothing but this quantity right so what do i get so i get that dy by dt here i'll insert this quantity okay so i'll get dy by dt of r cross mv is equal to n vector right so what do you get you get dy by dt of r cross mv is equal to n vector now what is this this is nothing but this is angular momentum okay so we get dl by dt is equal to n okay so it means that if n is equal to 0 then dl by dt is equal to 0 then l is constant so this thing is known as this this particular thing is your law of conservation of angular momentum okay conservation of angular momentum how can you write it in a statement you can say that if the external torque okay about a point o on a particle is zero then the angular momentum about that point angular momentum about that point is constant okay. so this is your law of conservation of angular momentum so we have two laws we have law of conservation of linear momentum and we have law of conservation of angular momentum right okay so law of conservation of energy we will continue in the next video thank you